In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started using schema discovery in Starburst Galaxy. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're using the account admin role, as you can see that I am at the top of my screen. And I'm going to go and create a catalog that's going to be used specifically to test schema discovery. So I'll click the Create Catalog button. We've provided an Amazon S3 bucket for you to use for testing, so that's what I'm going to click. And then make sure that the catalog name is schema underscore discovery. You can type in any description that you'd like. And then scroll down and you're going to use AWS access key for authentication. We've provided the AWS access key and secret key for you in the instructions below this video. Okay, I've pasted in my AWS access key and secret key, and now I'm going to scroll down to Metastore configuration. You can leave the Metastore set to Starburst Galaxy, and then the default S3 bucket name should be Query Plan Labs Data External, and the default directory name is going to be Burst underscore Bank. You're going to have to allow creating external tables, so click that slider to the right, and then we can leave the default table format to Iceberg. So let's test the connection. Everything looks okay, so I'm going to connect my catalog. We can leave the catalog level permissions the way that they are, and I'm going to click Save Access Controls. And then I'm going to add this to my AWS US East One free cluster. Okay, so the catalog has been added, and you can see this pop-up window comes up that is asking if you'd like to run Discovery right now. And so I'm going to do that. So I'll click the Run Discovery button and run Schema Discovery again. The catalog location URL is provided in the instructions below this video. I'm going to put that in there. And then the default schema should be set to Burst underscore Bank. So let's click Run Discovery. And that came back pretty quickly with nine tables. Now at this point, I have the option to create all the tables if I'd like, or I can just create a selection of the tables. Um, and let's just look really quickly to see what tables we have. And you can see each one has a checkbox next to it. So I could check just a few of these if I'd like, but I'm going to check all of them. And I can do that easily by clicking this box right here. And then I'm gonna click the Create All Tables button. Okay, and you can see that everything's been created for me. So if I scroll down, I can see at the very bottom, it created the schema, the Burst Bank schema for me, and then every table that I asked for. So I have a total of 10 things that were created, nine tables plus a schema. And if I wanna get back to the previous screen, I can just click close here. And that's it for our intro to schema discovery. You can always come back to this page and run schema discovery again on different schemas.